So let's do this and let's see what happens. Because if I want to curl that, like I did over here, what happens? Well, we curl it, but the connection's hanging. We go over here, it looks like it's working, but why is the connection hanging? Didn't we close the socket manually? Why would that socket still be running? We actually close the file descriptor manually here, right? So why is that happening? Well, when we added this ampersand, we put it in the background. That means that there was a fork that happened. So this file descriptor that was created during the accept call is now duplicated. It exists in the parent process and it exists in the child process. This is a problem. It's not a problem that a file descriptor is duplicated. It's a problem that we need to close it everywhere in order for the client to know. So we close it explicitly in the child, but we don't ever close it in the parent. So actually, here's a fun little thing we can do. We can move this line, we can copy it here. We can immediately close the file descriptor in the parent because we've passed it to the child. The nice thing is once the child process is done, it will close that automatically because it will die. So we can actually remove this from the child and just close the file descriptor immediately in the parent. So let's go ahead and let's rerun this. Go over here, curl it, and it looks good. Now it's returned back to me. So yeah, that's a cool little trick. It's because the file descriptor was duplicated. So we open it in the parent, we send it to a child process, immediately close in the parent and let the child process handle it. The child process doesn't need to close it. The child process just exits. It's just done processing the request. So the file script descriptor will close automatically. So that's the beauty of that.